Hello friends, welcome to my channel, or back to my channel as the case may be. Today we are doing tarot spread number 57. Yeah, 57 out of our 1001 tarot readings. This one is a, another looking ahead spread. This time, since we are in the six card spreads, it is looking at the six months ahead. What should I be paying attention to in these six months? Typically someone will want to do this well, about every six months. Typically the night before or the day before that next time period begins. And I have no idea if you can hear the bird outside. And for the demonstration of this spread, I will again be using the Wisdom of the Owls tarot deck. Let's get into it. So this spread is looking at the major themes for the next six months. Who is someone you should be paying attention to? Who should you not be paying attention to? Goals, that kind of stuff. Starting with card number one, what is the major goal to focus on in the next six months? Because if you don't have a target that you're aiming for, it's very difficult to plan. Card number two, are there any specific opportunities that will lend themselves to that goal. Card three, what's something you're worrying about in the next six months and what can be done about it? Card number four, what should you try to not change? What should be allowed to rest, to stay as it is? Card number five, what should you change? What is something you should proactively go about altering? And card number six, how will this six months affect the time going forward beyond it? How will it affect your longer term plans? So we're going to go ahead and shuffle the deck and demonstrate this six month spread. Okay. Again, I am just loving the colors in this Wisdom of the Owls deck. It is incredibly vibrant and playful and I really appreciate that since I've kind of gotten into a rut of buying a lot of decks that are incredibly dramatic so this one is a fun departure from that oh, okay so card one two three four five and six Oh, that is a lot of major arcana. Let's see, do I have these all in in frame? Yeah, I do. Okay. Wait, do I? Yes. Balancing multiple camera angles. I am learning. So card one is what do we hope to achieve in the next six months? We have the Six of Pentacles reversed. The Six of Pentacles is a card about asking for help and giving help. In its upright position, it's knowing that there is someone you can go and ask for help from, and they are willing to give it to you. In its reversed position, it changes that dynamic to where you are the one who wants to be in the position to help others. That is a very noble goal. That's going to inform the rest of the questions, the rest of these cards. Card number two, what specific opportunities will lend themselves to that goal of being the person who can give help rather than asking for it? We have the Ace of Swords reversed. The Ace of Swords is about beginnings. It is the first step in a challenging experience. Being reversed, you're not looking at something new here. Often the Ace of Swords can imply that You've been jumping from task to task too much. It's time to focus on one or two things instead of constantly starting a new project. Card three is judgment. It answers the question, what are we worried about for the next six months? Judgment is about perception. It is about the interaction of how we view ourselves and how others view us. In the upright position, this is trust your own vision of yourself. Believe in who you are. Don't worry so much about what other people think about you. 
you are the active force in your own life. Or you can choose to be if you don't feel like you are yet. You can take accountability for your choices, for your actions, for how you view yourself. And make changes as you deem appropriate. Card number four is the tower. It answers the question, what would you like to remain unchanged? The tower being here, the tower is a card of change. Whatever you want to hold on to and don't want to let it go, it doesn't seem like there's going to be the opportunity for that. It is going to be better to embrace the changes rather than try to stubbornly refuse them. Card number five is about changes. What would you like to see change? The card of death is not just endings. It's also beginnings. It's about cycles. As you let the things you desire to change phase out of your life, make sure that you are breathing new things into existence. I know that might sound a little counterintuitive based off of our previous card, the Ace of Swords, where you're supposed to be focusing on one or two things. But this is acknowledging that everything is a cycle. Do not be afraid of losing things because you will still have them in your mind. You will still have them in your heart. Allow those transitions to occur. This also ties right into the tower of change is inevitable. You're not gonna be able to prevent it. So acknowledge that it's a cycle, ride the waves, and you'll be okay. So card number six is the hermit reversed. The hermit is a card of isolation, of taking a beat of Acknowledging your own counsel. Being reversed, it's you need to be a little more active. You need to be a little more out there. You need to interact with people. As this is the card, attach the question, what should I take from these six months and carry forward into my greater plans? It's take the knowledge that you gain in this six months and share it. Don't be a miser with your experiences. That brings us to the end of this six-month spread. Do you agree with my interpretations of these cards? Do you disagree? Let me know in the comments. Are there other tarot spreads you would like me to demonstrate? If you enjoyed this, please leave a like. If you really enjoyed it, feel free to subscribe. That way you'll be notified of additional videos as they go up. And until next time, walk in the light, my friends. Bye.